Hello, this is Dr. Juwad. Please subscribe to my channel for more up-to-date videos. And thanks for watching. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwad. In this short video, I'm going to talk about a very, very powerful element that our body needs for overall health. And also, it is a very, very powerful antioxidant. And I'm talking about CoQ10 or coenzyme CoQ10. Now, it's very, very vital for heart health. And it's made by the body and stored in the mitochondria. Now, the mitochondria makes what we call energy currency in the form of ATP. It's needed for all cells to make energy, and it's highest in the heart muscle. And the thing about coenzyme CoQ10 is that it de we decrease the production as we get older, especially over the age of 45. So anybody over the age of 45, this is a must. I always recommend to my patients to supplement yourself with coenzyme CoQ10 for overall basically heart health and also to muscle health. So what happens when you get a deficiency of CoQ10? Because it's utilized the most in the heart, what's going to happen, you're going to get cardiovascular problems first. Angina, arrhythmia, heart failure, and also too high blood pressure. You're going to have blood sugar problems. Studies have shown that a deficiency in CoQ10, now they don't understand the exact process of it, but you may get periodontal gum disease, things like gingivitis. Also too, stomach ulcers. But the main thing that will cause a deficiency in coenzyme CoQ10 is for the people who, have, who are on statin medication. Now statin medications, that is your cholesterol blocking drugs in the forms of uh, Lipitor, things like that, Crestor. The mechanism of action, it decreases inflammation in the arterial system, the statins do, but at the same behalf, it blocks the formation of coenzyme CoQ10 synthesis. Now, since coenzyme CoQ10 is important for heart health and muscular health, this is what happens uh, you, when you're taking the medication. Eventually, it doesn't happen overnight, but my patients experience fatigue, muscle, and joint aches due to the fact they're on statins. So some of the foods that are loaded with coenzyme CoQ10 are organ meats. Organ meats, again, if you, heart, liver, kidney, muscle meats, this is your pork, your beef, your chicken, fish, this is your trout, the herring, the mackerel, loaded in coenzyme CoQ10, vegetables, this is your spinach, your cauliflower, your broccoli, fruits, oranges and strawberries, loaded with coenzyme CoQ10, and also, too, your seeds and nuts, which are like your sesame seeds and your pistachios. So those, that's the natural way to up your um, intake of uh, CoQ10. Now, again, if you can't always eat it uh, or if you can't always get to these, these high-quality foods, I always recommend to my patients, especially over the age of 45, because as we get older, we decrease the natural production of coenzyme CoQ10. So I, always recommend, I highly recommend taking coenzyme CoQ10 in supplement form. Now, the dose I always recommend is anywhere from 200 to 400 milligrams of coenzyme CoQ10. Now, they come in two forms. They come in ubiquinol and ubiquinone. Now, the difference between the two is ubiquinol, it's eight time, it gets eight times more absorbed than ubiquinone. So you want to make sure you, want to, you get ubiquinol in the form of CoQ10, the active ingredient. Also, too, the thing is, it's fat soluble. So you want to take coenzyme CoQ10 with some type of fatty meal, okay? And the thing about CoQ10 is that you need to take it daily because the body does not store it. Now, remember, because coenzyme CoQ10, it's made by the body, it's stored in the mitochondria. So as we use our body, we actually deplete ourselves of CoQ10. So definitely, this is a supplement that you want to take daily. Again, I recommend anywhere from two to 400 milligrams per day for overall better heart health, overall muscle health, overall joint health, and basically your overall health overall because again, it does supply the body with cellular energy. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.